Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, Poltuck. This is part 63, and we've got to talk to Hugo. Impeccable timing. I was just thinking of you. You've gone through great lengths to clear a path ahead for us. The stage has been set for final preparations. We can get to that in a moment. Do you want to hear something fascinating? Did you know that lightning can reach temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun? Energy beyond that of a star, and yet we can survive being struck by it. The lost. Myself. My Cassidy. We live with it inside us, dancing, colliding, beautifully and violently. Invisible forces taking form right here, inside, in a fervent embrace, chaos contained. Please, allow me to continue. When I first heard my Cassie's voice, it was magnetic, ensnaring me from across the room. Every footstep perfectly placed. As if I'd done it a thousand times before. It was a force. A path so clear, so natural. A gravitational pull. Two entities brought together and a magnificent explosion as a result. Only possible with our meeting. The world shifted at our very presence from that point on. We did the impossible together. Uh. No, no, no. You misunderstand. When the feral mind began to take her, I feared losing her forever. That spark between us lost its charge. She slipped further and further away. I made a choice. To follow the only path that had provided us any hope, I reignited that spark. I brought her to the device. I pushed it to its limit. I allowed it to impart on us that power greater than the burning surface of the sun. An accident implies a lack of intent. No, it was a choice. The creation of the loss was no mistake. Its failure to reach completion is, however, a half step that left them deserted in reality all their own. But we need to bring them back, all of them, not just like Cassie. We need to bridge the divide. That is what I'm trying to fix here. That is where I need your help. You should know by now that I am no scientist. All of our best minds have led me here, though. Many of them now lost themselves. Listen to my plan. Then decide whether to cast me the button. We are so close to a solution now. I've provided Hilda and Audrey with all they need to complete our work. If you speak with them downstairs, they will be able to provide next steps. Thank you. They are already caught up and will provide you with the information you need. Now, is there anything else? I'd prefer if it could begin soon. We couldn't have come this far without you. I hope you know that. I'm lost for words. I think he's a monster. A mad scientist. Definitely a mad scientist. And then we could... Oh, I should write this down. You think I'm happy doing this, James? Of course not. But what choice do we have? This isn't just about us. It's about everyone here in the vault. Everyone we've lost. He's not just a liar. He's a killer, Audrey. Can we get started already? The tissue samples aren't going to remain stable forever. Oh, great. It's my father's latest hired gun. What oh, are you shut. Doing here? 
Of course. My father's right hand. Here to solve all our problems. <sighs> Fine. Fuck's sake. We're left with many options. We're going to be overseeing a final experiment that could alter the future of this vault. All of our work is coming to fruition. My research on understanding the lost, Audrey's on the weather machine, but the last piece is Uncle Hugo. Like, literally, we're examining a piece of him. <laughs> Gross, I know. But once we have the right data, we can run the machine again to reverse the effects of the lost. We think. I don't think so. Thanks to the flesh of that madman, loath as I am to say it. My father is the only one afflicted by the machine that has managed to retain his senses. At first, we speculated that it could be related to his sight impairment, but we are certain now there's more to it. He seems to have mutated differently from the other lost. The experiments I've been running all but confirmed it. We think the reason is because he was the one to push the big button, so to speak. He made direct contact with the device. The electricity spread out from him, almost like a conduit. Are you sure about this? We are, and have the evidence to back it. We've been comparing tissue samples from Uncle Hugo with ones from Papa and the others. The behavior from Uncle Hugo's sample is far more complex and responsive to stimuli. It's almost as if he's a completed specimen and the rest are just imitating him. We've been repairing and adjusting the machine to potentially complete the Lost's transformation, using that monster upstairs as a template. Huh? I... No. Which is why we run tests first. We aren't simply going to fire up the machine again and hope he's right. We need to be sure first. That's where you come in. We need you to head surface side and run the experiment for us. We've set up a number of devices that can simulate the effects of... Um, it will simulate what the impact of different device configurations will have on lost cells. In other words, we can test what would happen if we followed my uncle's plan on a smaller scale. I'll try it. I'll mark the first device for you. We'll make contact once we see it up and running. Anyone else kind of excited about this? Just me then? Yeah, I just straight up. It may not seem like much, but your help has been invaluable to us. Thank you. Fuck's sake. Uh, so we arrived. And. Sorry, mate. But I don't want to fucking die. Hello, sweetheart. Right, 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 right. That's what I want to do to you. Good fight, human. Look at his little head. Oh, where's his little mate? Oh, I like catch. Oh no, you tick. Really? Where are you, you fat hippo? Where are you? <gasps> Hello, sweetheart. Let's spray you in the face. Is that right? Critical slime. I like playing with who goes dead friends. Do 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 da do da. Going to be a good fight. Is it, mate? Oh, 
Oh then, shoot me with your little fantastic weapon. Look at ya. Come on, sweetheart. Mate, you can't even shoot me if you was a millionaire. Come on, show man. I got a treat for you. Come on then, hit me. Come on, son. Hang on, mate. Right, hold on to this hot sauce, all right? Hello, sweetheart. You humans make us. Now Appalachia belong to us. That's it. That's it. He's got the... A spell. I had no bones about it. Ah, how was that one? Is that good? My head. Oh, was it? Is it? There we are. See? There's three of them. How is he hitting me? We gotta go camping. Right. Why am I hopping? What's the next one? Turkeys. Didn't even know there was one here. No one told me about this one. This was a hidden. Is this the hidden one? Ah, oh, for. F yeah. Hi, guys. Now I told me that a fascist were in. You're a pain in the ass. I don't like you.
Our hypothesis is that the samples from the Lost will begin to behave closer to Uncle Hugo. Come on, science. You can do it! <laughs> Really? We have this one. This so loud. I know you're not. Yeah, I can duck too, mate. But I still hit ya. Yeah. Take that pain. Oh. Starting final test now. Audrey, I don't like this. This has got to be a mistake, right? Let's... Just the test. Told ya. Audrey, we've got a problem. 
bastard is gone. What? And you, get back here ASAP. Over and out. Roger that, Captain Captain. That's the end of the um this episode. Till next time.